Hello, welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma and this is Messages from Your Soulmate. We are back again. Every Sunday I bring a read like this. It's a very specific kind of read for people in a very specific kind of soulmate, twin flame, connections in separation situation. So this will only resonate for people that are in that kind of situation. Everything you need to know about this reading, who it's intended for, how it's intended to be read is in the description. So if you are new to this style of reading on my channel, please do take a moment to read that information. The energy of this connection right now is the mountain, which is some very challenging energy. I'm going to take a moment to meditate on these cards, this card here and these cards here. I'm going to give these a thorough, thorough shuffle, these messages from your soulmate here. I will pause the video while I do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I will give these a quick shuffle on camera so we can see what's going on here with these messages. The mountain, yeah, it's a challenge and it and it feels formidable. You know, this feels like a long way to go. We've got, as far as timing goes in the Lenormand deck, the mountain speaks of a long time. It speaks of, say you get a card that is either, you know, like the number three. The, the three card could be three days, three weeks. But if it's accompanied with the mountain card, it's more likely to be three months or perhaps even three years. Whatever the mountain comes along with kind of lengthens something out. Now, this could speak in terms of timing about a connection. Sorry, I've got cat hair all over my table. You know, if you've come back regularly to my readings that I'm constantly picking cat hair off my table. They love to sleep on my beautiful setup here which I don't mind because they're really cute and fluffy and they've got beanie toes so they get away with it. This could be a connection that has been in separation for a long time, months, maybe even years. This could speak of a connection that has simply been so for many lifetimes, a long time, a person that we keep coming back around to. But there are absolutely challenges within this connection right now. So I'll tell you already that this is possibly going to be a tough one. Um, this is the energy of this connection overall. Let's get some messages from your soulmate. I know I left you with no choice. Okay. Yeah, I felt that these were going to be challenging messages. The mountain has given us a prompt. It's let us know that that's going to be the case today. Did you even notice? Notice what? Interesting. I will get into all of these with clarifiers. Let me do this first. Okay, so whatever's going on with your soulmate, they're off doing something else right now. I'm waiting for you to unblock me. Is that what this mountain represents to your person right now? This blockage, this huge mountain in the way? Is this an energetic blockage? Or is this a literal block? Have you blocked them on social media? Not really able to slide into your DMs right now. I'm not sure if they would be doing that but that would certainly explain why there is um, this massive blockage, this massive challenge in the way of this connection right now. I know I left you with no choice. No choice to do what? What did you do that you were left with no choice but to do? Focused on other things. Is that you that were that has to now focus on other things or is this they were juggling you they were juggling you and something or someone else did you go off with somebody else did you get married to somebody else did you 
focus your time and energy and re resources into another connection with somebody else? Did you feel you had no choice but to choose somebody over this person, over this connection? I want another one. Yeah, they, they know that they did this. Whatever it is that you are focused on now, and it would look as though it is your home, um, that you had to make some very decisive uh, choices in matters of love, that you made a decision, a firm decision, to do with commitment, the home, happiness, stability and security. And, th and they know that they kind of pushed you. They pushed you into having to make that choice. This is the Two of Pentacles, which is Venus in Capricorn. The Four of Wands, which is Venus in Aries. And the Magician, which is Mercury, the ruling planet of both Gemini and Virgo. Yeah. Did you even notice what? What what did what did you or did you not notice? Oh. Did you even notice the 10 of swords, Mercury and Gemini? More Gemini energy interestingly. Um the damage. How much pain this person was in how much this hurt this person i feel what's gone on here and you'll know if this one resonates for you and if this is not the way that this is working for you then no you know no shade it's just not your reading on this occasion this reading is quite specifically telling a story here and this person pushed you into a connection with somebody else. They left you with no choice. And they are wondering if you even noticed how much pain that left them in. It caused them a great degree deal of pain that you essentially had to choose somebody else over them. And the, But they know that they almost forced you into doing that. They gave you no choice but to make that choice but it hurt them too so if that story is resonating for you right now then this is possibly a reading that you want to continue watching if not it's fine you can click off um i'm very much a believer that the messages that need to get through for the people that need them at any given moment will come through and i think that's the reason why we're getting something so specific on this occasion Okay, so for anybody who's still left with me, I assume this is resonating. Let me do this first. What are they doing first? Oh, okay. Right, so they're off on an adventure. This is somebody who has people to see and places to be and adventures to be had. This is like there's a whole wide world out there. I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to be committed to anybody or anything or a place. I want to go out and have fun and have adventures and enjoy life and all of the experiences and wonders that life has to offer. This is somebody who does not want to commit and does not want to be tied down. The Knight of Wands, I always think, is like that guy that has perpetual FOMO. They couldn't possibly commit themselves to one person or one thing, at least not right now. Let me do this first, because they're panicking. They are afraid that they will be missing out on all this other fun stuff. Um, of course, what they're missing out on is true depth of connection, but it'll take a while. The Knight of Wands will level up eventually to the King of Wands and realise that that's the case. But right now, not so much. Let's get another one. Yeah, wow. Okay, so they do feel like they... they, they this person left. This person... Goodness me. Um, 
the moon in Aquarius, deceptive behavior, trickery, betrayal. It's come up twice that the energy of betrayal. I feel this person did betray you. This person, you know, the seven of swords accompanied by the knight of wands, which is the player card. This is cheating, lying, deceptive behavior. This is paying attention to other people behind your back. Um, yes, this is a tough one. The mountain did give us that we knew didn't we um and i'm just i'm hearing over and over and over again sowing wild oats and that that's not a nice energy honestly it's this person wants to experience how do i put this nicely other people okay this person wants to go out and experience relationships with other people other than this connection right now they're just not ready for it they're not mature enough for it for it yes it hurt them it it absolutely hurt them and i do believe that there is a brutal life lesson in this somewhere for this person i'm not sure if they have learned it and they haven't uh, i'm not sure if they're even ready to learn it is possibly a better way of putting it and yet they're still waiting for you to unblock them like i said is this physically or on a more energetic level look at this yeah there's the blockage this is after tarot so you know we are being untied this is another card of gemini the eight of swords jupiter in gemini self-sabotage being left stranded having that inner conflict um being kept in the dark yeah they very much don't know what's going on with you so much right now would like to know would like to kind of on some level be allowed back in given everything else i'm seeing here right now i would suggest to you that that's not necessarily the wisest choice let's get another card for this then here you are yeah look at this let me back in nope hermit retreat solitude keeping yourself to yourself refusing to get involved not taking action i don't think you're doing anything about this connection right now in fact i do see that you've made a choice in a different direction even though you felt you had no choice um if they're waiting for you to unblock them either literally or energetically i do believe they're going to be waiting for a while honestly i see stagnancy i see a long period of time before anything is resolved um i'm going to pull some more cards here um what do you need to know then what do you need to know because yeah this this challenges energy here and this it's not so much advice i'm just simply going to ask what do you the person watching this need to know about how this person feels right now what's kind of relevant for you to understand because i don't see you doing anything i again not really actually being given a choice in in any of this anyway so what difference would it make almost is what's kind of coming across now that's far too many if one of those wants to come back out it will okay let's see what we've got yeah because i'm kind of getting that well, what difference does it make anyway so what do you need to know message in a bottle they would like to talk okay whether they do or not is a different matter i often pick up on the intention of the things people would like to say or communicate to other people you know when we get like the eight of wands or um any of the pages which are the bringers of messengers any of the knights which is action and movement towards that kind of thing we often we you have a lot of mercury um influenced cards as well within tarot so there's often the energy of i wish i could say this but wanting to say something having that imaginary conversation in your mind and then actually doing that are two very different things so this 
is not necessarily your person coming and saying things, but this is very much what they would like you to know. I asked, what do you need to know? And what's coming across here is what they would like you to know. So let's have a look. I don't think I deserved that. This came up last week as well. I'm getting repeating cards across here. I have 400 messages here and I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly shuffle every single time. The self-pity victim mentality that came up with the Eight of Swords in the last section here. I'm ready to open up. Well, that's kind of what this is saying. I think this person does want to talk. I didn't listen to you. And they would like to listen as well. They were, yeah, they, they, the, the intention of this conversation is massive. I'm not so much getting specific messages of the things they want to say. I believe that will come out in tarot. More this energy of repeatedly, I didn't listen. I want to open up. I want to listen. I don't think I deserve that. We'll see what tarot's got to say about that one. One more, please. I can't follow you. Did you block them on social media? <laughs> For some of you, they're very keen to, under, to, to know what it is you're doing right now. I'm going to use the um, Everyday Witches here to get some clarifiers for what we've got going on here. Sorry about that noise. That was my computer sending me notifications, which I forgot to turn off. Just bear with me while I turn off those. Okay, apologies about that. I've just put my laptop into flight mode so I don't get any more notifications coming in deafening anybody who is wearing headphones. Apologies if that came through really, really loud. Okay, I want some tarot to go with this message in a bottle before we start on the messages cards four of swords this is something they've thought about and the ace of pentacles a tangible offer coming in they have thought very much about how it is they can come in and offer you something tangible and something real that is the message that they have been pondering for some time that is the energy of the message they would like to bring in and, and what's really fascinating about the Ace of Pentacles is I, I actually want to show you um, in traditional tarot because I think this is really quite interesting. There's the Ace of Wands. Let me find the Ace of Pentacles to show you. It's always the last one when I go through the deck looking for a specific card. Nope. Here it is. Okay. What I wanted to show you, and this came from the last section, this mountain card. Look what's through this beautiful archway is this mountain here. It's here. It's like they can see the challenges of this connection and they can see how formidable and how difficult this is going to be because this is what you've pulled here the ace of pentacles but it's it's a journey that they want they want to kind of go ahead and approach this mountain now no matter how difficult and formidable that mountain appears right now they have taken the time to consider to find some constructive solutions so I think what they essentially kn know is that they need to come back and um, tackle the challenge now not ignore it very much are wanting to kind of communicate this to you um, it's like saying look I know this isn't simple I know things are complicated I know we have 
so much to work through. I know a lot of time has passed. Any number of those things, statements that I've just said are, are the kind of energy of what's coming across in what it is they would like to express. And they, then it would lead on to something like, you know, how I, I want to explore how this can happen. I understand that there are certain things that need to be said or done in order for us to even begin, to even begin to go on that journey. But I want to kind of take you by the hand and see if we can tackle the complications, the challenges and the difficulties together here. I don't think I deserve that. What didn't they deserve? The Empress. Beautiful, beautiful energy in finding pleasure and fulfillment. And the Hermit. You Did you ghost them? I'm very much strongly getting this energy. Um, and where did it, what deck did I use? Oh, no, I keep pulling the decks that I, but there's so many repeating energies here. Where is it? Here we go. So what I've got here is two hermit cards. I can't follow you. <laughs> and I'm waiting for you to unblock me. I mean, <laughs> this person has perhaps tried to reach you. Did you unfriend them? Did you unfollow them? Did you block them? I feel for some of you, this is incredibly strong, which is why this message that they're trying to get to you seems to be just floating around in this ocean and not necessarily message received right now. Of course, these could be less literal energies here. Um, it could be more of an energetic thing that we've got going on here. Yet, I'm feeling for many of you, it is actually quite literal because the, it's come up several different ways here. And I think if you've pulled back, if you've ghosted, if you've decided, you know, I'm done with this, I've got better things to spend my time and energy and resources on right now, blocked, not interested. You know, sometimes you block somebody not for them, but for yourself, you know, to stop you from uh, constantly checking up on their social media. And perhaps you see things that just hurt you and you've decided to remove yourself from that energy to give you the opportunity to heal um, that healing process of the hermit here to find the, the beauty and the joy in all that is around you. Perhaps you just were seeing things that were making you miserable that were hurting you so you just cut that out you cut it off um i do feel this person has tried or is trying to get a message to you and is struggling that challenge that mountain here that impenetrable impenetrable mountain that they cannot seem to get through to you in some way um maybe for some of you check your junk mail if you if you want if, if you want to know um i feel this person has tried to send a message to you in some way, shape or form and it's message not received here. And it's causing this frustration. Perhaps this person thinks you're ignoring a message that actually you have not picked up on because you've, you're asleep, you've not seen it, you're not aware of it. I'm ready to open up. Let's uh, explore this. The Six of Wands. This is a conspicuous victory. This is Jupiter in Leo. This is getting what you want. It's being recognized. It's having the focus and the intention, attention, sorry, on you. I, again, it's, this is this entire section of this spread here, what you need to know at this time is this person jumping up and down, screaming, pay attention to me, look at me, look at me, see me, acknowledge me, recognize me. And here's you hermit and fast asleep with your eyes closed here. Here's their message just wandering in the ether, perhaps of cyberspace somewhere, not seen, not received. This is fascinating energy. And there's you, Queen of Wands, free from the expectations of others. Um, that magnetic personality, and it's more recognition, seeing sight, seeing you, that belief in the self, that magnetic personality. They are being drawn to you, but I, I think they are really struggling to get to you in some way. I didn't listen to you 
is this energies kind of go lots of if, is this them i'm trying to think of which way around this would be for the energy to be the other way around as though are you not listening to them or do they believe that you're ignoring them you're not listening to them you're not hearing them you're not paying attention to them you're not acknowledging them i feel there is a message here that's not being received in some way shape or form if you go after this reading and check out your junk mail and there it is sat there waiting please do let me know in the comments um that that did specifically resonate for you for some of you this will just simply be that this person has not bitten the bullet yet and actually hit the send button or perhaps they're not able to hit the send button but for somebody watching this reading a message has already been sent that you have not received and this person believes you are ignoring the message i didn't listen to you Ten of Wands, maybe you did see the message. Ah, okay. Some of you have seen a message. Some of you have absolutely seen the message. And you just, it's too much. It's just too much. And you have this resolve. No, nope, this is the way I, I'm going. I'm, I, I cannot look back now. I cannot look back. I don't have to listen to you. I don't believe you. I don't believe this is the truth I want to press on with the course of action, the choice that I've made here. I can't follow you. Oh, okay. Jealous of attachments, possessiveness, too many options, option paralysis, procrastination, temptation. Hmm, why is this here? Another one, please. Seven of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> two sevens sevens are a pause for reflection now pause you know perhaps you've paused this connection i'm getting a very literal blocking on social media here or you know you can block someone's email you can block somebody's phone number um the seven of wands is a card of blocking and <laughs> resistance defending yourself again and i don't think it's because you're I think for many of you, if you have blocked them on social media or their email or their phone or whatever, or all of them, I don't think it's so much because you like a revenge kind of thing. It's to stop yourself from seeing things or just re-entering an energy that that's caused you a great deal of pain. Ultimately, is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing you feel the very much this this need to pull away is incredibly necessary right now as always i will finish up this reading with some cards for you for some um advice or well whatever comes up these i very much freestyle these soulmate readings um i do have a list of prompts and questions to kind of get us started but then i do like to go with the flow of the cards so let's just tap into your energy and see what the cards have for you. The Eight of Pentacles. Figuring out a complicated problem. Paying attention to detail. It's the Sun in Virgo. Okay, right. So we've got the Page of Cups. No, that's the Knight of Cups in this deck. It's the Princess, but the Princesses are the Knights in this Manga Tarot. Is this you? going to somebody and offering love or is this advice for you if somebody tries to offer you something i think this is to do with this message i think there is a message here and this is saying this is what we need to do about this message so this is like the cards telling us what they're about to tell us if that makes sense um how do we figure out what to do with this message that's come in that's come in or about to come in for some of you um okay so the first message is pay attention to the details read between the lines have a very close look at the words that are being spoken here somebody is very much trying to make something happen here and again here's the six of wands again look at me pay attention to me acknowledge me recognize me this somebody very much craving for your attention very much trying to 
manifest you or your energy back into their life um very much being called to take some kind of action wanting perhaps some kind of triumphant return i feel the energy of confession here confessing something to you so what we what do we do about it keep that door shut for a while the five of pentacles leave leaving somebody out in the cold let's okay so let's see how that the king of wands hmm okay so i need some more just give me okay justice and the king of swords okay so we've got two kings for a start kings are very stubborn stubborn's the word that came across there's many things that the kings are many positive things but for some reason the word stubborn came across we've got justice here i think this is kind of saying like read the message or listen to their words however this message has come across whether it's spoken you know face-to-face -face conversations or um text messages or however but keep yourself kind of logical not cold but mm, like controlled self-control and this has come up a few times in advice for these readings is now is, is we need some we need to exert a great deal of a deal of self-control here all this masculine kingly energy is the energy you need to be sitting in and justice of course is about balance and truth and karma it's about demanding the truth it's about wanting the truth the king of swords only would like only only deals with the truth he cuts out lies he rejects cheating he rejects um betrayal trickery he deals with integrity and truth as does the justice card the king of wands projects authority and he is very future thinking and here we have this very much kind of keeping the door locked not allowing somebody back in from the cold just yet i want to take a look at the bottom of the deck here okay so this is the three of wands and this speaks of building bridges and your ships coming in it's that card um it speaks of expansion and travel and progress this is essentially saying let them do the work let them do the work and if this means enough to them then they will do the hard work that is required to convince you and if they cannot convince you if you stand remain and you remain in an in unconvinced state regarding this person then they didn't work hard enough if this means enough to them they will do whatever it takes not just say the words but back those words up with actions um allow them to build the bridges and then you be the judge of whether those bridges are good enough essentially you don't need to do anything let them do the work if they choose not to then it wasn't worth it to them if they do then assess the uh, degree of effort that was or was not put in ultimately the ball is in your court here but very very self-controlled be self-controlled control your emotions control your urges to come rushing back at this person for the wrong reasons it's come up this week it came up last week and it came up a few weeks ago as well so it's it's very much um a running theme of the advice that i keep getting for you here is is that self-control kind of keep keep it together keep it together very much indicating that you can and do have what it takes to do that with all this gorgeous kingly energy kings seem to come up in the advice position for these readings over and over and over so yet yeah, keep at it keep at it we may feel that we're getting to a point now if this these readings have resonated with you for a few weeks that's just becoming a bit of a slog for you now you may be questioning I don't know if I can keep doing this, if I can keep up this pace. Um, 
cards very much here suggesting that you you absolutely do have what it takes the magician is here you have what it takes just keep pushing through you'll have good days you'll have bad days maybe you have a, you're having a few more bad days than good at the moment that will change everything changes energies slip and slide and mutate and transform all the time good luck with this one i'll be back next sunday with another soul connections in separation reading for you all take care